Hello my fellow wizards, today we're taking a look at daily housing rewards and the best free stuff you can get just for visiting certain houses every day. Cause like, I don't know about you guys, but I like me some free stuff. For those who aren't aware, there are a number of different houses in Wiz that allow you to collect daily rewards from them ranging from gold, seeds, and reagents, to pets, housing items, and even gear. And there's actually some pretty rare stuff you can nab if you're lucky. Most of the relevant houses are from premium bundles, but thankfully you should be able to access all of them through housing tours, so you can get all these items for free without ever having to pay a single crown. As a bonus, you can even access housing tours without the need for membership, so these daily rewards are truly something everyone can benefit from. In this video, I'll be breaking down every current daily housing reward, where to find them, and highlighting some of the more interesting potential rewards. I'll be going in alphabetical order, so if there's something specific you're looking for, you can jump ahead. Also note that I won't be covering every single potential reward because there are way too many to cover in one video, but I'll try to give you an idea of the rarest or most valuable rewards for each house. Stay tuned till the end for a breakdown of the best houses and rewards based on category. Let's start out with the aberrant carnivorous plant, which is found in the botanical gardens. You can find this terrifying overgrown weed by heading straight up the stairs and through the front from the spiral door. Once you head inside, you'll see... Does it have to be human? <laughs> Wait, wrong one. You'll see this directly in front of you. It's kind of hard to miss. Though it may look like it wants you for a snack, thankfully this plant only needs you to pick one of the three levers in front of it labeled pollinate, rain, and sunshine. The different levers determine the general category of treasure cards you may receive, which tend to be gardening related, but you may also get seed pots along with various trees and plants. Rare housing items include the Pot of Soup, Gong of the Oni, and Regal Dragon Statue. Some useful reagents you can get include Agave Leaves, Blood Moss, Diamond, Grendelweed, Nightshade, Stardust, and Sunstone, and seeds include Boom Shrooms, Evil Snow Peas, Pink Dandelions, Prickly Bear Cacti, and Venus Flytraps. Next up is the Bountiful Cart inside the Bountiful Mine, which can be a little tricky to find because it isn't attached to any one house, but is a furniture item you can place in any of your homes. For this, you may need to get lucky and find someone with the Bountiful Mine inside their house so you can interact with it. The cart itself gives rare reagents like diamond, draconium, fossil, glass sliver, and turquoise, and jewels ranging from cracked through sparkling quality depending on your wizard's level. The cargo crate can be found in the Polarian shipwreck by heading straight ahead from the spiral door and down an incline to the left. Keep heading straight from there and you should soon see the cargo crate near Captain Shackleton. The cargo crate can give furniture items, including food and cargo themed items, the Marleybone flag, Quetzal egg, and pet derby themes. It can also give a variety of different snacks. The cauldron is found in the Battle Mage Keep and can be found by using the teleporter directly ahead of you to quickly access the main castle. You'll then want to head toward the middle right doorway and immediately down the stairs to your right where you'll find yourself in the lower dungeons. From the bottom of the stairs, take a left and head for the second opening to the left from the corner where you'll pass through a secret wall and find the cauldron directly ahead. The cauldron can drop a variety of different wallpaper and flooring, treasure cards including school prisms, traps, and shields, reagents such as ether dust and ore, agave leaves, antiques, and comet tails, and a variety of snacks. Pets include the grizzly boar, beastmaster's eagle, life troll, silver colossus, and winged catastrophe, and seeds can be fiery boom shroom, ivy league, maelstrom snapdragon, orange bell pepper, or ultra snapdragon. The Chocolate Fountain is found in the Candied Isles Village and can be found by heading straight and to the right into the center of the square surrounded by buildings. Rewards include the treasure cards Beguile, Cleanse Charm, Dragon Blade, Gargantuan, and Nested Fury, along with the reagents such as Ether Dust and Ore, Agave Leaves, Antiques, and Red Mandrake. You can also get a variety of snacks and the pets Fire Salamander, Pink Jellyfish, and Colossus. The cliff dive is found in the Peppergrass Glen and can be a bit of a trek to reach. You need to head for the waterfall at the other side of the area and around to the left up a path leading to a cave behind the waterfall. From here you'll be transported to the top of the waterfall where you get the prompt to dive into the water below and literally risk life and limb for some free rewards. KI is really out here encouraging people to jump off waterfalls and shit people. Anyway, if you're willing to potentially go splat for some free stuff, the dive can somehow award you different socket wrenches, chrysalis music themes, and the treasure cards Disarm, Enfeeble, Pierce, Shatter, and Spinosaur, along with reagents like Agave Leaves, Black Lotus, Comet Tail, and Turquoise. Jewels include the Chastisement Opal, the plus 8% Clear Pip Opal, Galvanic Field Opal, and plus 1 Polished Pip Hematite. You can also get the Black Spider Pet and seeds like Fish on a Vine, Key Limes, Pink Dandelion, and Queen Crepe Myrtle. I hope it's all worth it to you. The Dragonfly Ride can be found in the Amber Estate, and to find it, you need to head to the right from the spiral door, down a small incline, and under an archway, after which you'll find it lurking to the left of a large rock mass in front of you. 
Why it's creepily chilling over here? I have no idea. You can then interact with it for a kind of a cool ride flying around the outside of the house before landing back where you started. It's definitely a cool opportunity for housing decorators to show off their hard work. Rewards include the treasure cards Balance Blade, Earthquake, Monstrous, School Shields, and Strong. Reagents include Ether, Blood Moss, Diamond, Grendelweed, Nightshade, and Sunstone, and you can also get a variety of snacks. The Drama Merchant can be found in the Nomad's Camp immediately to the right of the Spiral Door. He can reward you with various tents and music themes, rare Avalon night-themed wallpapers, the Venus flytrap decoration, and the Toy Monkey. He can also give TCs like Gargantuan, Mutates, Potent Trap, and Sharpened Blade, along with reagents such as Aether, Amber, Comet Tail, Diamond, Fossil, and Sunstone. In addition, you can get a variety of snacks and a bunch of pets such as the various spiders, Leaffoot, Meow Wing, Mummy Cat, Royal Ibis, Snake in a Basket, Toy Golem, and Velociraptor, along with seeds like Ninja Fig, Maelstrom Snapdragon, Orange Bell Pepper, Sugar Crystal, and Ultra Snapdragon. The forge could be found in the Blacksmith's Fjord by heading straight into the house and then making your way to the furthest back room on the right. Here you can earn a whole bunch of different reagents, but some of the more interesting ones include Aether Ore, Amber, Glass Sliver, Mithril, Palladium, Platinum, Star Iron, and Titanium. Note that in many cases you can get more than one of a reagent, which can lead to ridiculous amounts of rare reagents like Amber, which KI themselves highlight. There's a couple ways to get to the giant gorilla in the Sun Palace, but a pretty straightforward route is head straight ahead and then down the path to the right, ignoring the house in front of you. You eventually see a couple waterfalls and a cave behind them. Once you enter the cave, the gorilla is straight ahead. And for some reason, Mr. Lincoln also randomly manifests here to butt in for no reason and says, Perhaps he has a present for you? My question is, what else would a giant gorilla have for me? Just makes you wonder, you know? Does he have some kind of dark past no one's telling us about? <laughs> Anyway, if he doesn't, you know, murder you, the gorilla can give you Balance Blade, Regenerate, Sacrifice, Steel Charm, and Tower Shield TCs, reagents like Agave Leaves, Blood Moss, Grendel Weed, Nightshade, Sunstone, and Vines, along with a variety of snacks and seeds like Burning Snapdragon, Deadly Elephant Ears, Key Limes, and Prickly Bear Cactus. The Great Muda statue found in the Shinobi Dojo can be another tough one to access, first because it's another placed housing item that isn't linked to a specific house, and second because you need to be friends with the homeowner in order to access the inside of the dojo and get to the statue. However, if you manage to gain access, the statue can reward you with a bunch of rare housing items including the Bell Pagoda, Bonsai Plant, Golden Stone Dog Statues, Koi Pond, Piggy Bank, Potted Purple Pansy, Soji Screen Art and Rice Paper, Stone Watch Tower, and Throwing Star Case. It also gives the TC Ayuchi, Availing Hands, Beguile, Goat Monk, and Ninja Pigs, as well as a variety of snacks, the pets Arctic Ninja Pig, and other various pig and demon-themed pets. Seeds include the Boon Tree, Deadly Elephant Ears, Key Limes, King Parsley, Ninja Fig, and Sword Fern. Moving on to the Horn of Plenty in the Winter Wind Tower, you'll want to head straight ahead to the teleporter and then head straight up to the front of the castle. Once inside, head directly upstairs and into the room at the top, and you'll see the Horn of Plenty on the dining room table. The Horn can award TC such as Earthquake, Elemental Diffuse, Faint, Legion Shield, Regenerate, and Steel Charm and Ward, along with reagents like Aether, Agave Leaves, Comet Tail, Golden Pearl, Nightshade, and Sunstone, a variety of snacks, and the seeds Deadly Elephant Ears, Frozen Flytrap, Red Bell Pepper, and Tiger Lily. The Iron Sultan statue is kind of unique because it's a housing item rewarded from completing the Sinbad and the Iron Sultan gauntlet. You can place the statue in any house, so it may be tricky to locate, but if you do locate one, you can get a whole bunch of stuff along with an earful from the Sultan himself. Today's metallic treasures are revealed! He gives housing items like Avalon-themed wallpapers, Krakatopia and Mirage furniture, various tents, the toy monkey, and Venus flytrap decoration. You can also get TCs such as Colossal, Gargantuan, Mutates, Potent Trap, and Sharpened Blade, along with reagents like Aether, Amber, Amber Dust, Diamond, Fossil, and Sunstone. There's also a variety of snacks and a ton of pets, including various spiders, Chameleon, Leaffoot, Meow Wing, Mummy Cat, Royal Ibis, Snake in a Basket, the Risenosaurus, and Velociraptor, along with the seeds Ninja Fig, Orange Bell Pepper, Sugar Crystal, and Ultra Snapdragon. The Lost and Found is in the Castaways Bungalow and can be located by heading down the ramp and to the right into the main building. Once inside, you should see a bar directly in front of you with the Lost and Found tucked between the bar and an open doorway. Rewards include the housing items Crystals, Celestia and Watermole themed furniture, the antique cello, and Stone Dog statue. 
You can also get TC like Colossal, Gargantuan, Mutates, Potent Trap, and Sharpened Blade, as well as reagents like Ether, Amber, Amber Dust, Diamond, Fossil, and Sunstone. There are also a variety of snacks and a bunch of pets like the Dill Piggle, Gargoyle, Golden Goose, Snake in a Basket, Spell Red Stalker, Spirit of Nature, and Total. Finally, you can get seeds like Fish on a Vine, Maltese Tiger Lily, Sugar Crystal, and Sunion. Unfortunately, the Lucky Pot of Gold is another placed housing item from the St. Patrick's Day event and is usually found in the crown shop. Since it can be placed anywhere, you may have to search a bit for this one, but if you find one, it will give you a random gold amount for your trouble, but not much else. Like, is it just me or should it also give some charms? Get it? Get it? Why are you pulling me? I'm right! The magic eggs could be found in the magic tree house, which is another housing item you can place wherever you want. Once you interact with a ladder, you can go up to any of the three eggs to get a random reward. Highlights include TC like Blue Phoenix, Dryad, and Stormcat, along with reagents such as Ether, Fishfin, Fossil, Golden Pearl, Scales, and Sunstone, a variety of snacks, and the seeds Fickle Pickle, Prickly Bear Cactus, Tiger Lily, and White Asparagus. Next is the magic lamp located in the Sultan's Palace. From the spiral door, head straight inside the palace and past the entryway into the large main room. From there, take a right into a hall of pillars and you can pass through the secret wall which shows a mural of a pile of treasure, so it's hard to miss. Follow the hidden pathway down and through a hole in the wall and you'll soon see the magic lamp on top of a stone pathway. The genie inside is happy to give you TC such as Balance Blade, Earthquake, Regenerate, Steel Ward, and Wild Bolt, reagents like Aether, Agave Leaves, Blood Moss, Diamond, Fossil, Grendelweed, Nightshade, and Sunstone, a variety of snacks, and seeds like Deli Hellofin Ears, Key Limes, Prickly Bear Cactus, and Trumpet Vines. The Minotaur is found deep within the Acropolis after navigating a maze, so strap in. Hopefully whatever house you visit will have a teleport straight to the Minotaur, but if not, I'll show you the way. From the spiral gate, take the teleport and hang an immediate left down two flights of stairs. Keep heading straight around the curve, then take a right down another ramp and into the building in front of you. Once inside, take an immediate right, head down the stairs, and at the bottom, hang a left and into the dark doorway. Here you'll find yourself in the maze. I'll play a sped up version for how to get through, but it's definitely kind of annoying to do this every day, so I recommend using any teleports if available. If you can navigate the maze or, you know, cheat like the evil wizard you are, the Minotaur will give you TC such as Earthquake, Faint, Tower Shield, and Weakness, reagents like Agave Leaves, Black Lotus, Black Pearl, Diamond, Fossil, Sunstone, a variety of snacks, and seeds like Deli Elephant Ears, Key Limes, Orange Bell Peppers, Pink Dandelion, and White Lapidil. The Pearl Clam can be found in the Briny Deep Retreat conveniently just to the right of the spiral door. If you open it, you can get housing items such as different corals, diving gear, and underwater themed furniture, TC like Beguile, Dragon Blade, Gargantuan, Nested Fury, and Rain Beetle, Reagents like Aether Dust and Ore, Agave Leaves, Antiques, Comet Tail, Kelp, Red Mandrake, and Shells, a variety of snacks, the pets Frog, Elephant, Scarab, and Wraith, and the seeds Ivy League, Maelstrom Snapdragon, Tiger Lily, and Ultra Snapdragon. The Pioneer Dragon is found in Outlaw's Refuge and can be accessed by heading straight to the entrance at the bottom of the tree, then heading straight and to the right down the ramp toward a smaller building. Once inside, you'll see a glowing orange teleport you can take to the dragon and his disproportionately sized amount of treasure. This little guy has been busy. Damn! The dragon can give you TC like Balance Blade, Efreet, Sacrifice, Steel Charm, and Steel Ward, and Tower Shield, reagents like Aether, Agave Leaves, Blood Moss, Diamond, Grendelweed, Nightshade, and Sunstone, a variety of snacks and seeds like Blue Huckleberries, Evil Snow Peas, Prickly Bear Cactus, and Venus Flytrap. The Sacred Yarn Acolyte can be found in Katmandu Sanctuary by heading down the path from the spiral door and then curving around to the path to the left, up two grassy ramps, and then following a path to the right until you reach an archway that appears to lead into a stone wall. However, if you walk through the archway, you'll find yourself transported to a higher platform where the Acolyte is waiting to greet you. The Acolyte can reward you the large autumnal bush, modest autumnal tree, orange basket, and small wintry bush along with reagents like Ancient Scroll, Antique Teapot, Black Lotus, Blood Moss, Frost Flower, Mistwood, and Red Mandrake, as well as a variety of snacks, the Ice Cat Pet, and the Orange Dandelion Seed. More rewards may be confirmed with time since this house is fairly new and more data needs to be collected. The sarcophagus is found in Darkmoor Manor by heading straight across the covered bridge, taking a left turn, and then heading straight through the gates into the cemetery area with the battle circle. On the left, you'll find the sarcophagus, which is one of the only daily rewards that can give you gear pieces. You can receive a variety of different wallpapers and flooring, bookcases, rugs, and chairs, along with gear such as the Archangel hats and boots, samurai armor and boots, the full staglord gear, the royal robe, and the full wolf gear. You can also get a variety of snacks and seeds like deadly elephant ears, fish on a vine, grapes of wrath, and sword fern. 
The Sky Castle Shrine is found in the Heavenly Palace and can be located by heading straight ahead and up the ramp toward the main building. Instead of heading inside, however, go around to the back of the building and across a bridge and an invisible cloud pathway where you'll see a battle circle. At the back of the battle circle arena, you'll see the shrine. Rewards include housing items like the Bamboo Grove, Giant Crystal, Mushu-themed furniture, Pagoda-topped urn, and sloped Blue Club chair. You can also get Mutate treasure cards and reagents like Ether Ore, Antiques, Comet Tail, Kelp, Red Mandrake, and Scrap Iron, along with a variety of snacks, pets like the Dragonfly, Origami Crane, Red Panda, Shaolin Monkey, and Striped Boar, and seeds such as Ivy League, Orange Bell Pepper, Trumpet Vine, and Ultra Snapdragon. The strange interface is found in Sky City Estates and can be accessed quickly by heading directly down the road from the spiral door and making your way to the first available house. Once inside, head straight toward the kitchen and fireplace area, make a left, and head into the small room at the end where you'll find a trap door in the floor. Once inside the laboratory, head straight ahead to the desk with the computer screen to claim your reward. The strange interface can give you TC like the school forest lords and school Efreets, reagents like ether dust, antiques, black lotus, black pearl, nightshade, and sunstone, along with a variety of snacks, and the pets crabling and ice colossus. The gift that keeps on giving is a housing item acquired usually during the Yuletide event from the crown shop and can be placed in any house. By interacting with it daily, you receive a random gold amount, usually in a range from about 80 to 200 gold. And that's about it, which is kind of disappointing for a gift that's supposed to, you know, keep on giving. So thanks. Thanks for nothing. You're welcome. The treasure chest can be found inside the Fantastic Fish Bowl, which is yet another housing item that can be placed in any of your castles. If you find one, you can interact with a fish bowl to be transported inside where you'll find a treasure chest you can open. Rewards include the TC Balance Blade, Blade Storm, Faint, School Diffuses, and School Shields, as well as reagents like Agave Leaves, Blood Moss, Comet Tail, Diamond, Grendelweed, Nightshade, and Sunstone, along with a variety of snacks and seeds such as Ninja Fig, Pink Dandelion, Prickly Bear Cactus, and White Asparagus. The wind turbine is found in the Arrow Village by heading left from the spiral gate and up a ramp. You'll want to head to the right of the windmill in front of you and pass through the secret wall in the cliff. Once inside, take an immediate left and you'll be teleported to the turbine at the top of the area where you can claim your prize. You can receive housing items such as the cattle fence, various crystals and rocks, and the velvet rope, mutate TCs, reagents like ether ore and dust, agave leaves, antiques, comet tail, kelp, and red mandrake, along with a variety of snacks, pets like the armadillo, bumblebee, scorpion, and skink, and the seeds ivy league, maelstrom snapdragon, orange bell pepper, and ultra snapdragon. Finally, the wishing well is located in the ever after village by heading straight along the path from the spiral gate, across the bridge into the center of the village, across a second bridge at the back of the area, and up the slope where you'll see the well. Rewards include housing items like Avalon-themed furniture, mushroom houses, table and benches, and various flooring and wallpaper. You can also get TC like the school dragons, school golems, and wildfire, along with reagents like amber, ancient scroll, comet tail, diamond, fossil, sunstone, a variety of snacks, the pets fennec fox, first mate otter, flying squirrel, red cap, sea turtle, and toucan, as well as seeds such as the orange bell pepper, queen crepe myrtle, sunion, and sword fern. Okay, that's a ton of different daily rewards to hunt down and visit every day, but I do have a quick tip for hitting as many as possible in a short period of time. You'll find that certain houses and housing tours have teleport loops for a bunch of the different rewards where you can quickly teleport between different locations to collect everything with very little effort. The house I used to get a lot of the footage for this video was Samantha Rainpants Tranquil Cottage, which not only has a teleport loop for daily rewards, but also a ton of tapestries to various locations and more teleports to her other houses. Many similar reward teleport loops can be found throughout housing tours to make it easier for everyone to take advantage, so I want to give a huge thank you shout out to house owners who are kind enough to set these up. They make it so much easier to get everything you want. In addition, I'd like to highlight a few of my personal favorites from all these daily rewards because some are admittedly better than others for getting you rare or useful stuff. For gardening-based interests, for instance, you'll definitely want to check out the carnivorous plant and the botanical garden since it gives helpful housing items and treasure cards for gardening fans. If, however, instead you're looking for help getting rare reagents like amber to help with your crafting needs, you'll want to focus on the Bountiful Cart, Drommel Merchant, Forge, Iron Sultan, Lost and Found, and Wishing Well. The Forge especially is a great place to get rare reagents as it sometimes gives duplicates of each reagent so you have a chance to get a lot each day. For rare housing items and pets, I recommend the Drommel Merchant, Great Muda Statue, Iron Sultan, Lost and Found, Sky Castle Shrine, and Wishing Well. 
Finally, if you want some gear, the only place that gives it is the Sarcophagus and Darkmoor Manor, which can give you some neat crowns gear like the Archangel set. Alright my fellow wizards, those are all the free daily housing rewards you'll want to get. Which of these housing items are your favorite and which do you think gives the best stuff? If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and as always, I hope to see you out there in the spiral, and happy questing!